your phone is getting slower and slower, glitching and overheating, are you already thinking about buying a new one? But don't rush, because your phone has hidden settings that few people know about, which can speed it up even several times and improve its performance. Welcome to my channel and let's figure it out. So the settings discussed in today's video are also located in the developer options, which you may have already enabled if you have watched my previous videos. But for those who haven't not enabled these developer options, I'll show you how to do this on two phones. Let's start with this one. Head to main settings. After this scroll all the way down until you see about phone. Tap on that. Tap on about phone. Then scroll down a little bit to software information, tap on that, and here you can see build number, tap on build number 7 times, until you see notification that the developer mode is turned on. And on the second phone, head to main settings, then tap about phone, and select MIUI version, tap on MIUI version 7 times, until you see notification that the developer mode is enabled. And after that we need to find these developer options for this on your phone, head to main settings. After that use search, tap on search and type developer. Here select developer options and scroll down to drawing section. Scroll down to drawing section and here you can find window animation scale transition animation scale and animator duration scale. These three settings are responsible for the animation speed on our phone. This is animation speed, for example, when opening applications or windows and so on. What is most interesting is that if you turn off animation, the phone will not waste processor resources on animation, and applications and windows will open instantly, which is why the phone will work much faster. You will immediately see the difference in how much faster your phone has become. Disabling animation will not have negatively impact your phone, it's a safe way to speed up your device. So to turn off animation, first select window animation scale and select animation off. Next select transition animation scale and also select animation off. And the last one animator duration scale, select it and choose animation off. You can also reduce animation duration to fast up your phone or turn off animation as you want. After that scroll all the way up to debugging section. This is debugging section. Then at the bottom of debugging section we can find system tracing. Tap on that. And here scroll down to categories and per KPU buffer size. These settings are made for tracing the system when testing apps. Tracing is always turned off when you use your phone in daily life. So these settings should not seem to make your phone faster, but part of users say their phone feels faster after using them. These settings will not harm your phone, so we can try to speed up our phone with them. Now I'll show you how to do this. First open per KPU buffer size and select here maximum size. After that select categories and scroll down to RS, RS render script. Select it and tap OK. Now we will move on to the regular settings that will definitely speed up your phone. For this on your phone head to main settings and here you can find digital will be in and parental controls. Tap on that. This app is enabled by default and tracks how much time we spend in different apps. And here you can also set a time limit for each app, but most people don't use this app and it uses up quite a lot of resources and battery life on our phone. So if you also don't use this app, I recommend turn it off to speed up your phone. In the upper right hand corner of the screen tap on three dots, after that tap settings. And here you can find usage data access, tap on that, tap on settings and turn off this app. 
The last setting, which may seem trivial to many, is actually incredibly effective and simple – automatic phone reboots. Above is a link to a separate video about why rebooting is essential for your phone. But now I'll show you how to enable automatic reboots – this feature will reboot your phone once a week. And you won't even notice it, but you will notice how your phone starts working much better and faster. Now I'll show you how to do this on two Android phones. On first one, head to main settings. After that, tap on search and type here restart. Select restart on schedule, then turn on this feature and select day. After that, tap on time. And here you need to choose time when you will definitely sleep, so that you don't notice when the phone reboots once a week. And on second phone, head to main settings. After that, tap on search and type power. And here you can find this feature – schedule power on off. Open this feature, then turn on power on and turn on power off. But it works a little differently, that is, you need to choose exactly when the phone will turn off and turn on. Choose some one day of the week and enter the time of, uh, for example, at uh, 3 am and then turn on time in 2 minutes, for example. That's all I wanted to share with you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss new helpful videos. Thanks to everyone supporting my channel, I really appreciate it. If you'd like to support us well, you can do so via the link in the description. Thanks for watching.